great to be here. I, I tour a lot for stand-up. Last weekend I had to do a show in like rural Texas, Odessa, Texas. And after the show, after the show this guy came up to me and I swear to you, this is verbatim what he said to me. <laughs> hey man, when you walked in, I figured you was gay. <laughs> but I tell you what, you are my doggone kind of funny. In Texas, is that how you give somebody a compliment? When I first met you, I thought you were a selfish whore. But I tell you what, you're my wife. And my cousin. I was at an In-N-Out this afternoon and I was waiting for my burger. And I was standing there, I was by myself, I was minding my own business, and this little kid, like nine years old, this little boy walked in front of me. Now, he didn't cut me off, I was standing totally still, but he walked in front of me and he tripped and fell right at my feet. And I was less concerned that he fell and more concerned that everyone would think I was the reason that he fell. So like, instead of reaching down to help him, I just put my hands up. <laughs> I just did this and I kind of showed everyone at the in and out This kid's dad comes over and the dad starts to lay into him. His dad is like, Jeremy, you're nine years old. What kind of nine-year-old trips in public? When you trip and fall, it embarrasses me. It embarrasses your mother. And I told you to tie your shoes. The dad is like laying into him. And in my head, I'm like, I gotta save this kid. So I said, excuse me. I tripped your son. <laughs> and then I realized, no, everyone at this In-N-Out thinks that Rob Gleason just tripped a little boy and then went, Yeah, Jeremy. <laughs> Recently, I learned how to say damn it in Swedish. It's Ikea. <laughs> if you're not familiar, Ikea makes all their furniture out of a very rare kind of wood called paper. <laughs> My favorite part about Ikea is that there's never gonna be, there's never gonna be an antique from Ikea, right? <laughs> like that's never gonna be a thing. I can't, it just doesn't last long enough to be an antique. It's never gonna be like, it's never gonna be like, oh, this wobbly particle board dresser has been in our family for 18 months. <laughs> Trying to eat healthy. The 7-Eleven by my apartment just started selling fruit. <laughs> 7-Eleven selling fruit doesn't even, doesn't even make sense, like at all. 7-Eleven selling like buffalo wings and chips and like Slurpees and slushies. 7-Eleven selling fruit is like a hardened, hardened drug dealer that also sells sunscreen. <laughs> hey, you know, Jerome sells SPF 30. Yeah, he also sells heroin. I don't trust the fruit at 7-Eleven. I don't trust it. One time I bought a 7-Eleven banana. I unwrapped it. Inside was a taquito. <laughs> Why do these grapes taste like pepperoni? <laughs> Here's something that drives me nuts. I hate when people add the word holic to other things. Besides alcoholic. Alcoholic is, is like a word, right? That's fine. But I hate when people be like, uh, they'll be like, um, I'm a, I'm a sushi holic. I just, sushi. <laughs> I'm a cookie holic. Yum, 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 yum. You can't just add the word holic to something and expect us to believe that you're an addict. Until you've gone down on a key burrell for rainbow chips. <laughs> Until you've stopped eating cookies, gotten your life back together, and then relapsed at a church bake sale. I'd like to see that character like an Addicts Anonymous meeting. First guy would be like, yeah, man, I'm addicted to rum. Second guy would be like, oh, I need my booze. And she'd just be like, oatmeal raisin. Yum, 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 yum. Recently, uh, I stayed at, hands down, one of the worst hotels I've ever stayed at in my life. I stayed at a Ramada. Has anyone here ever stayed at a Ramada? Oh my gosh. I was at the Continental Breakfast. I watched a guest pour waffle batter into the toaster. He filled it all the way up. He saw me staring at him, so he stopped. And then he just topped it off. I was like, sir, what are you doing? He was like, I'm making French toast. <laughs> I 
I was like, that machine doesn't make French toast. He was like, no, but it makes toast. <laughs> Can't argue with that argument. In my hotel room above the bed was a little sign that said, please do not remove mattress from room. <laughs> do you guys know what it means when you see that sign? You know what that sign? I mean, someone took a mattress! How do you steal a mattress from a hotel? How do you get a mattress past the front desk? I'm sorry? No, no, I really enjoyed my stay. <laughs> Pardon me? I'll have you know I travel with my own mattress. The TV is mine too, I'm coming back for that. By the way, somebody filled your toaster with waffle batter. <laughs> I want to look into that. <laughs> ladies, ladies, I'm not just saying this to impress you, but when I grow up, I want to be a stay-at-home stepdad. <laughs> serious. I was 100% serious. I, uh, my favorite TV channel right now is National Geographic. I don't know if you have National Geographic. It's amazing. It's such an incredible channel. I was watching National Geographic today. I learned that the ocean is 4.2 trillion gallons. As a people, are we so dreamless that we don't have a unit of measurement larger than a gallon? The ocean is the biggest thing on this planet, and we're measuring it with a milk jug. <laughs> Just some poor guy, like 243,516,728. Hey Paul, how are you? How's it going? Yeah, wife's good? Great, hey, say hi to the kids. <laughs> All right, see you around. 243,500. You guys, my name is Rob Gleason. Enjoy the rest of your show. Thanks for coming out.